Well, welcome to the channel viewers. Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, theologist here at the Oval, running the dog. And we have to run ourselves as well. It's very, very sad when people get into a lifestyle that... Here, come on. into a lifestyle that doesn't help their health and they've conditioned themselves to believe that it is when it's not and you try and put value on that person and you can't um, they got people around them that'll undermine I remember one woman we went and met her dad we were getting engaged and the dad said, my advice is he's got five children, I wouldn't do that. She did it and then wouldn't wear the ring. So I cancelled the whole thing after a couple of months. Years down the drain. Interferers, um, people with counsel. That man was in a relationship with an old woman that they all hated who showed partiality towards her children and treated his children like absolute crap. But he wasn't going to have that either. As his truth, that was his truth. It was just a horrible mess in pursuit of relationship. I don't advise you allow, hey, 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 come on. Ready? Go. I don't advise anybody to stay in a relationship for the convenience of insecurity or low self-esteem or anything like that. I think you have to learn about yourself before you get mixed up with people that aren't helping themselves. Yeah, mate. Come on and go yeah otherwise you're just going to be dealing with the dysfunctions and complications that come with a relationship like that because it is complicated and it is negative and it is hard and it doesn't necessarily work. Usually it doesn't. People end up sad. Here, mate, come on. No, no, no. Get it, go. So he got put off then by another dog. Get the ball, quick. Come on, quick, get the ball. The ball. No. Distractions. All of us succumb to them. They take us off point. Even that chocolate wrapper there that he's got his foot on, put him off the ball. He's not mature. He lost his focus. And focus is hard. Focus takes tremendous discipline against the internal blurs that try and take us away from the potential that we have and the things we're supposed to do. I don't believe many people know how to work a properly an intimate functioning relationship. Um, you don't just stay in it with full of unresolve and people that are hostile and you can show tolerance, you can try and show patience, forbearance and all that, but those people aren't going to change. They're not going to change. They're not going to change for anyone. And what you're doing then is deluding yourself into thinking that your love and your capabilities and the way in which you present yourself is going to overcome the weaknesses and character flaws of people that haven't made the effort they just haven't made the effort 
and not all of these people are medicated or on substances or alcohol, a lot of, or most of them are, but a lot of them aren't and they're dangerous. They're the religious ones. Here mate, come on. Ready? Go. There he goes. He's not bringing it back today. He's getting lazy. Oh, he's going to do this time. Come on. No, he's dropped it. Dropped the ball. And that's what we do in our relationships. And we shouldn't. We should stay on point. Communicate. Is that okay? Is this okay? How's your mind? How's your heart? And if somebody starts to deteriorate, and you really are doing the right thing, man, you've got the wrong person. You're just allowing that person to use up your energy. They're not on point. You know, some people will just get tired of you. They don't want you anymore. That's just how it turns out. That's how life can go. And you have to understand that this person's tired of me, they've had their fill, I've picked a narcissist or whatever problem they've got. Um, I wasn't good enough for them or they've lost interest or if your performance hasn't gone down, I wouldn't worry too much. It's on the other person. See, a lot of these people just need casual relationships where somebody can come along and give them sex or, or whatever they want and then go back to living their life but that's not how I want to live I want to be able to give, take, care and share and a lot of people are disabling people to do that from doing that they're just not going to allow you to get in a position where that's going to be possible he's eating a feather Come on, come on, come on, here, ready, hop, hop, go, there you go, we're dealing with what they're calling now and labelling everything with narcissism, but I don't believe that, I believe we've got to accept that we all have a sinful nature, no, we all have capabilities of letting one another down, but with our human spirit. Here, mate, come on. Go, go, go. With our human spirit, we can overcome that with the help of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is a lamp and he lights our path. We need the help of our creator. I just picked up a whippersnipper it got a full overhaul, I'm very surprised. $305, I probably could have bought a new one. But that with the snipper had value to me. And so I'll get another life, well, run out of it. Right, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Same with our relationship. We have to renew our mind and make it fresh. I've never fallen out with a woman over arguments or over um, negligence on my part, over a lack of intimacy or caring or anything like that on my part. That's never happened. When you end up in the world I'm in of here, mate, come on. Ready? Out there, go, go. There it is, there it is, there it is. Go, 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 go. No, he missed it. Totally missed it. No. Totally missed it. Totally missed the ball. You have to stay on point. When my first wife and my second wife, they both, well, the first wife, she put up a terrific effort, but she got interfered with. And then the second wife, well, she was, 
She was the child of her children, but that never manifested till after the marriage. A lot of these people haven't raised their children properly and they become adults and you can't change what you've formed them into. Ready? Go! Or what they've become. Because that takes years. And just because somebody's come along that wants to love their mother, and some of these people do appreciate that, not many, but some do, at first, Um, well you know that you're being appreciated you know I've always appreciated the people that I've had but I haven't appreciated the trouble that they've brought and I definitely don't appreciate it when they're not going to resolve because resolves everything Without resolve, all other issues will follow. So stay on point, keep yourself well, exercise regularly, eat well, sleep well, be caring, and everything after that is going to be consequential, either positive or negative. But if you look after yourself and these people collapse around you, that's on them, not on you. And they will suffer the consequences, not you. You just push on. You just push on.